Hello, it's me, Troubadour, and I got a fun team for y'all today. Today we're trying to do a synergy here in the brand new revamp star pack that I haven't really seen anyone talk about yet, um, and that's going to be Vulture and Ibex. So both these pets are pretty decent in their own right. Vulture can be super nice for summon teams. There's a lot of snipes, a lot of damage over time. Um, and then the Ibex can be used with like a variety of teams, though it really shines within like push structures or with like snipers because that 70% HP reduction works on both hurt and push. And using them together can actually be super strong. So think about what some of the counters to summons may be, you know, maybe giant freaking stats, you know, that your summons can't get through. Like say you're facing a giant hippo, you know, it could destroy a giant hippo. How about some HP reduction? Oh, what gives HP reduction? The eye bags. You see, you see what I'm think talking about here? You see what I'm thinking? Now we don't face any hippos here. We're playing just against star pack opponents. But you can kind of see the idea I was going for. This idea is that we'll be running a summon team that has an Ibex on it. Hopefully the Ibex can reduce some HP of the opponents um, that take damage either from the um, summons or from the vulture snipes. And then overall that HP reduction will hopefully mean that the vulture snipes or the summons can take out their team just that much easier. Now early on, we're just trying to build up some early stats maybe get some big ant eater that we can use later just because ant eater is a great pet and it's a great summon to use with these summon archetypes just until we can get to the tier five we've also got a big marmoset that we're running here hopefully we're hope i was hoping you know to level up into elk here because the elk plus a big cell pet line is just absurdly strong that's one of the like things in the new star pack that's crazy broken I mean, there's a lot of things that are crazy strong namely all of tier six i'm looking at you ammonite and spinosaurus and like everything i don't know they're all broken you can say uh you can you know if you told me this pet's the strongest pet in star pack and you named any of the tier sixes i'd probably agree with you except for maybe piranha but you know there's a lot of really um really broken pets but i still think overall this pack is in a much better state than it used to be it's not to say piranha's bad though piranha's a great pet um, we also pick up the Hawk here. We don't take out the Toad there, unfortunately. My opponent's kind of running a roll team. That's another uh, archetype I love to run. I've been playing so many roll teams. Sorry if people keep running into them, like running like Okapi and Fosa and Ostrich and Hamster and all this stuff. Um, I know my brother, Rhythm Dealer, also loves to do roll teams. That's like his favorite thing in the game, whether it's a Unicorn Pack or Star Pack. So uh, I've been, you know, taking some cues from him and trying to run some fun stuff like that. But here we get the early Vulture, and this is when my, the gear started turning. So originally I wasn't planning to do Vulture Ibex. I was just kind of playing and seeing what would come out of it. You know, maybe I'll get something cool. Uh, but here's when I really decided, you know, maybe I could do something cool with the Vulture. I haven't really played the Vulture too much lately. I mean, we've got the Ant Eater already. We've got like the Starfish ready to do a big pivot. We buy the uh, Fried Shrimp on the Marmoset too, so that we get the uh, Starfish ability trigger to give plus 3-3 three, three to the whole team. Starfish is an interesting pet, by the way. Um, it's like it's such a great pet until you use it and then once you're done using it it is just useless like it's got a really nice thing for pivoting and then there's like no point in having it it's just in a really weird spot right now i guess we're pushing the level three anteater too that's pretty cool and we almost have the level two uh vulture with the pepper that's pretty sick we face someone else running a fosa and an ibex they're going for maximum hp reduction we've also got the orangutan and the um spinosaurus to get lots of stats so we take a loss there that's okay we're still at three lives uh, i think it's this turn that i find the ibex well at least i you know i level up the um anteater there yeah and there it is we get the plus three three the whole team and here's when i bring in the ibex and the gears start uh turning oh, look at that double are we gonna double ibex this turn okay no we're just gonna go for the level two vulture for a turn i was gonna say double ibex would be crazy uh but yeah we are have it level two next turn so now i can start to see it pop up here now we face an opposing vulture team but look at that one hp reduction uh, fortunately, it was kind of on the front most unit. I guess it wasn't as helpful as I was anticipating. Um, but the uh, Ibex will be putting a lot more work later on. You'll see, it's pretty sick. You'll see, there's a reason I turned this into a full video, you know? Like I have a standard when it comes to videos, you know? I'm not gonna upload just like any old run. I wanna try and show something interesting. Um, I'm definitely okay with making like okay videos. Everything doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, I want my runs to be good. So, you know, it's gonna be pretty sick later. Look at that, reduce the Hawk to one HP and the Bass to one HP. So now they basically do nothing in battle. The dice to my Ant Eater, so is the Fosa dies to my Ant Eater. Yo, told you this reduction thing is pretty sick. Hey, you know what, screw it. We'll grab the uh, Spinosaurus as well. We can get it to level three this turn. I mean, it's, you know, Spinosaurus is essential to any summon team. Whether it's in Star Pack or Customs, it's amazing. 
face when running, double anteater, and a mimic octopus at the back. That can become really scary if we're not careful. We still have our Ibex triggers though. We haven't used either of them, so look at that. We're gonna knock it out there with the Ibex plus Vulture. I told you, baby, we save those Ibex triggers and we take the uh, win there. Now, leveling up the, um, what's it called? Leveling up the Sabertooth. I'm not sure what I was going for here. I guess I was ready to pivot off the anteater. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm bringing in the Orca. I guess I wanted, thought the mana would be more valuable in the Anteater, which they probably are, so I guess it's fine to put the Orca at the front. Uh, but check out this game here. Look at that. Reduce the Piranha's HP, and look at that. The Reindeer's at 1 HP, thanks to the Ibex, and the real Velociraptor gets sniped. Um, and then our Vulture, unfortunately, does not snipe the Reindeer. If our Vulture sniped the Reindeer there, I think we would have won, actually, that, instead of the Jellyfish. I don't know. I wasn't really checking the stats. That would have been sick. Look at that, our Vulture's almost at level 3 now. That would be sick. Uh, I really should be looking for level 3 Ibex, but that's okay. We face a Fosa team, but look at that, reduce the uh, H. Look at that, it snipes the Fosa. Uh, Ibex reduces it, and then it snipes the Fosa again, and we knock it out. Dude, Ibex plus the um, Vulture, what did I say? It's pretty sick. Taking out both Mimic Octopuses. Yo, Mimic Octopus, by the way, needs a nerf. Ammonite, Mimic Octopus, just nerf it all. It's crazy strong. I'm a Mantis lover, and let me just say, Ammonite's too strong. You know, I, you know I'm being real when I say that a pet that's amazing with Mantis is too strong. But here we go, nine wins. We face someone running a Velociraptor Strawberry team. But look at the HP reduction. Look at the snipes. We're doing so much damage. And our peppers are coming in super clutch, but we're gonna take the loss. I mean, level three Velociraptor scaling, plus six, nine, I think, per strawberry is kinda insane. So we're gonna take the loss there, but we'll grab a baguette, we'll grab another pepper, and then maybe push the level three Spino next turn if we lose, but I don't think we lose or draw this turn. I think this is the last battle. So we face another strawberry team, but this time they're running level three Sparrow. So basically they reduce 30 damage each strawberry hit. But look at all the HP reduction we have. Everyone's super low HP, and then we take the win. Let's freaking go. So there you go, uh, Vulture Ibex. Super cool synergy. Definitely you should try it out next time. Uh, you play the star pack. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that generic stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next video. But until then, as always, stay true.